right. See, this is what I like to see. Even though, <laughs> you know, spring is coming, it's giving us a little, oh, cool, you know? I mean, I still read an article yesterday that only 30 million people have been vaccinated in a country of approximately 350 million. So here's my, my finger wagging because of the particular demographic that I work with. Most of you guys have gotten vaccinated. Awesome. <laughs> the young people have not. So healthcare workers and, and seniors, you guys, yay, awesome. I don't even qualify. <laughs> so people have been asking when we're gonna start yoga classes in person again. And well, I don't get to, cause what am I gonna do? Go and just wave a little COVID around in the class. <laughs> but so just be careful because there are, are other strains and spring is coming and we're gonna wanna go see people and do all those things. And we're all gonna, you know, we're gonna wanna hug. We're really gonna wanna hug. The hugging, we're gonna want to hug people. So we're gonna do some more yoga. Anybody else gotten a little stir crazy lately? <laughs> Losing your mind? <laughs> so this is where all the yoga techniques come in. The yoga techniques come in because ah, they have to. They just have to. So this morning we're going to spend some time on our backs unless you're in a chair and we're going to we're going to work on last night I went to the float spa I was in so much pain I came out of the float spa I was in zero pain. So I did a couple of things. I used techniques that I have and you know the the gurus and whatever they will tell you that right now is about using your techniques. It's your daily walk, it's your meditation session, it's your yoga practice, it's your weightlifting, it's your cycling, it's whatever you're doing to keep sanity in place. You may not get any deeper into a meditation practice right now. You know, you might not like, oh, I'm going to hit, you know, nirvana. You may not get there, but your meditation practice is what's going to anchor you down. So I'm meditating last night and I went all through this whole thing in this 50 minute floating session that I was doing. And who knows how much of an effect that truly had too. But by the time I got through to freeing my joints and freeing my interstitium and freeing my bones and freeing my aura, and, you know, it went through everything, freeing and freeing and freeing, and then a whole breath session. So there's going to be a lot of breath today. What I realized is that my vibration over the course of the last two months has just been just in a, just a nosedive. I mean, just head and just, it was going to be like crash and burn. Last night, it was like, raise the vibration, raise the vibration. We got to raise our vibration. So today, we're going to breathe a lot. We're going to raise our vibration. We're going to, in effect, save our own lives because we need to. Right? Absolutely. All right. So find a, make sure you're comfy. Get in there, find the sits bones, take that rib cage, slide it back over the pelvis so that your spine like a column, you know, like a tube, basically, you know, if you were, we were going to blow smoke through a PVC pipe with all these joints, you know, like a kid would build a plumbing, you know, grid, it would take forever for smoke cut to kind of go up and in. You got a nice clear, long pipe smoke right through. So you want to think of your spine like a column that you can fill up with energetic smoke. <sighs> and start to let that breath move up and down the body. And just kind of, you know, go with this as if it's an opportunity. This is an opportunity for me to check in on my body. It's like, you know, getting a yearly physical. We're going to get our weekly physical in. <sighs> and the more that I expand my rib cage, do things kind of go pop and fizz and wiggle and squish as they get wrung out? <sighs> or do you find that there's a little uh, here, a little, oh, why am I lifting my shoulder? So scan through from the top of the head down through the eyes. 
through the sinuses. This time of year, there could be a lot of sinus going on through the jaw, loosen that, maybe wiggle that a few times, loosen the tongue, move down into the throat. Notice if it feels hot or dry. Maybe the air just needs one more really big, deep breath to clear out that space in there. Check and notice if shoulders feel level. And then take one hand and put it on one shoulder and then the other hand and put it on the other and add some weight. And as you add weight to the shoulders, allow the head to creep up toward the heavens. So lengthening that cervical spine. And it, you may really wanna pull down, which is then gonna activate the belly system. Because as we move down the body, we wanna activate and clear. So move into the heart and the lungs, really expand in a, you know, 360 degrees with those lungs. Notice if one side of your rib cage is expanding more than the other. And if so, lengthen that spine a little more. Come down into the belly, stomach, kidneys, hips, colon, spleen, ovaries for those of you that have them or wish you had them. <laughs> Down into that pelvis, all that reproductive area, all that elimination area. Breathe deep. Hips to thighs, thighs to knees. Keep pulling on those shoulders and lengthening that neck. From knees to calves and shins, ankles, feet. And as the arms get a little tired, send a little breath into the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. And then expand the arms out. Keep that neck really long and then change which way the arms were crossed. I look a little funny because I'm trying not to squash the mic. Ah, keep expanding. Now add a little flex of the glutes. See if the flex of the glutes pops you up away from the floor, just a little, just a little, just a little, and then hold that flex. So we're gonna start this vibration with the breath and the flex of the glutes, which is gonna cause the hip to vibrate a little, the buns, the legs, breathing. <sighs> Maybe even stretch the face out into a giant wicked looking smile <laughs> and energize the muscles of the face. So we're just going little by little by little. We're going to just kind of dig into it all, relax it all, and then, and then jazz it all up. Now let the breath start to deepen. You can keep that really weird smile, but lift the hands up and out. Take the thumbs, fold them down into the palms of the hands, put the four top fingers over and either keep cactus arms or reach way up. Keep the squeeze of the buns, breathe in up to the knuckles. Exhale, elbows come down. Breathe in, punch up. Exhale, pull down. Cosmic pull up, breathe in, exhale out. Now keep going, big deep breath, pump it up in there, exhale it down, pump it up in there. Go at your own pace. So if you have blood pressure issues, you may not wanna do this as intensely, especially if you started a new medication, keep your mind on your buns, keep them squoze. There you go. Come on, press it up. And then if you can, start to speed it up. Now we've got the thumb tucked into those fingers if they'll go. If they won't go because of arthritis, who cares? Just give it spirit fingers instead. Breathing, exhaling. Breathing, exhaling. There you go, keep going, keep going, keep going, breathing. 
If you want to speed it up. You might need a tissue. We just don't know. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Arms up. Let the breath return to normal. Squeeze the cheeks. Both sets. Notice the raised vibration in the body. Huge in breath. Exhale. Let everything relax. Just notice if anything goes with it or shows up with it. Beautiful thing about yoga is it can pull the cork off of whatever's there. So maybe there's some frustration and you're just suddenly in a wave of frustration. Or maybe there's a, oh, whew, and away went that. All right, we have one more of those to do. You can choose arms stay up and just breathe there. Hands stay in the lap, just breathe there. You could go into something more mellow, like Nadi Shodhana. But if you want to build, let's build. Tuck those thumbs in. Pump those fists up. Squeeze the buns. There you go. Breathe it in. Elbows down. So you can keep this pace if that's good for you. Because if you get a little woozy headed and you're, and you're like, oh, I don't like that feeling. Or you've been a little anxious lately and that, that hot headed feeling makes you a little too nervous then keep it slow. But if you want to speed up, here we go. I'm gonna count us out. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Punch it up. Oh, yeah, the arms aren't going to want to go up. Punch it up. Let the breath return to normal for just a moment. If you want to do a set of fire breath here, you want to do ah, some Kapalabhati here. Oh, you might hit Nirvana. Three, two, one, release. Let the chin drop down on the chest. Let the head wobble from side to side. Now find a little energy friend that has been in the body lately that may not be super helpful. You know it's there. We're aware it's there. We're observing that it's with us, that it's part of us. Roll right ear to right shoulder. Take that left hand, reach out and away so that you get a really nice stretch from your temple down through your middle finger. But bring that little inner awareness up and we're going to give it some extra vibration today to see if we can shift it. Breathe in. Exhale out, left arm comes in, the head tick tocks over to the left side, stretching that neck, right arm shoots out. There we go. Invite anything that needs to leave to leave. Breathe in. Breathe out, head comes up, arms reach out. We're going to do eagle arms in front of the body, either arm on top, doesn't matter. So if your eagle arms look like hand to hand, back to back, fine. If you can completely wrap up, beautiful. So we've got another little breathing exercise. We're gonna tick tock from side to side with our arms wrapped up. So your torso is just making, you might look like this. I might not even be able to perceive you moving or you might want to move all the way through. Okay. That's up to you. So wrap it up, 
wrap it up people breathe in go to one side breathe it out inside outside inside outside inside outside inside outside inside outside now side to side Five, four, three, two, one. Hold center, slice those arms out. Drop the hands to the backs of the hips. Lift the collarbones. Big breath in all the way down to the pubis. Exhale. Slice those arms out. One more of those. Opposite arm goes on top. Unless you're hand to hand, then it's just the backs of the arms. I'm hoping I'm not killing this mic here. All right, so we're gonna breathe into the outside and exhale to the center and then we're gonna speed it up. So in center, in center, in center. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Slice those arms out. Big breath in. Slide the hands forward. Let that head come down. If you're in a chair, head comes to knees. Big breath into the back. Release that breath out. Very nice. Roll on up. All right, if you have a cushion underneath you, you can lean on the cushion. If you're in a chair, you're simply gonna lean into the back of the chair. If you're on the floor, feet are gonna plant. We're gonna roll onto our backs. Ah, so if you're in a chair, you're simply gonna tuck the knees into the chest or you're gonna do one at a time. But we're gonna just come onto the back and we're gonna just roll and tick tock from side to side. We're gonna release any low back energy that needs to be released. The head can roll opposite or with it. See what's penned up in there. I mean, here's the thing with vibrational energy. If it's in your body, mutate it and use it. I did this long meditation last night. I used the, the breath to stir up what was there, which was really sad. It was all just really sad, yucky stuff that I didn't want anyways, but it, in my awareness, it's part of me. So I stirred it and then I used my mind to expand it and turn it into something else. Beautiful, once you're rocking and rolling, seems to have had enough, pull those thighs into the chest. If you're in a chair, pull one thigh at a time or both. And then we're going to lift the head toward the knees, clasp one knee at a time, kick the opposite leg out, breathe in, exhale, exchange legs, breathe in, exhale, exchange legs, breathe in, exhale, exchange legs. Now, if you've got to modify and you're going to step down to the floor each time, make it work. Do your thing. If the head gets too heavy, put the head on the floor. Okay, so you breathe in, exhale, and then we're going to speed this up. If this is too much for your blood pressure, then don't do. Here we go. Now let it fly. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees to chest, hands behind head, tuck in, hold there. Let the energy that you're building simmer in that belly. Try to breathe deep, it's not gonna work real well. Exhale, let the head rest. 
And then let the legs go up over the body, grab the backs of the thighs. <sighs> if you're feeling lightheaded, talk to yourself about it. Decide whether it needs water, rest, or whether it's just digging. Oh, pranayama. It digs. Holding here for another breath. Bend that right knee. Clasp that shin. Let that left leg come out in an angle in a chair. You're just going to lift that heel up off the floor. Roll the nose up toward the knee. Press through both heels. Both feet are flexed. If you have the flexibility to reach down and grab the foot, grab the foot. Squeeze in. If you want to extend up and out, because you have the ability to get into that hamstring on that right leg, then lift up and out. Otherwise, we're holding, breathing, inhale. Now we're going to rock up to a little seated V. So you're going to bring that left knee in. We're going to grab those knees. We're going to rock up. Arms reach up if they will go. Inhale. Exhale. Grab the backs of thighs. Roll down knees to chest. Let the head hang heavy. And just roll your head from side to side. So a little intensity and then a little chill and a little intensity and a little chill. All right, head comes to center. Wrap the hands around that left shin. Right heel kicks out. Pull that thigh into the belly. Flex both feet, nose comes toward the knee. <laughs> I'm having a little witness moment. A year ago, I could get to my knee with my nose. <laughs> Got a little extra COVID going on. There's a little. There's a little extra between me and my knee now. Breathe in. <laughs> Going to build its vibration. Get it to go. Holding there. One more breath. Ah, that knee is going to come in. We're going to grab the thighs. We're going to roll up. Wow. To that seated boat. If you want to kick both heels out and up. And feel the worm of the belly. It's like, ooh, 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 it's like having a bowl full of jelly all of a sudden for a body. If you have the ability to lift both hands overhead too, lift both hands. We're going to go for a little breathing exercise here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. In and out through the nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll back onto the back. Arms out in T. Let the body equalize just a moment. And then drop the knees off to the right. If you need to prop them up, prop them up. Head can roll left or not. So this type of practice mimics life. We have intense moments or intense days or intense weeks that are then followed by intense rest. Or we get up in the morning, we go for a run, we build that intensity in the body, we go to the grocery store and then, huh, I'm going to sit and read a book or veg on some Netflix. And then we have periods where, okay, well, now I got to do the laundry and now I got to rake the yard and, da, 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 and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Okay. Knees roll up to center. The eyebrows roll up toward the knees. If you're in a chair, simply lean forward. Put your nose somewhere near your knees like you're doing a, a little airplane motion. Breathe in. Breathe out. Kick. Roll up to that tush. Find that boat. Cross the ankles right over left. Arms reach out to the side. So I'm going to big arms. Big, huge, reach out through the very tips of those middle fingers toward the opposite walls. Pull out on the tops of the feet. So you're going to activate this hip region, activating the belly. Oh, feel the shake. Feel the shake. Ah, building the vibration. 
every cell in your body is going, Whoa! breathe in, breathe out, reach out a little more, pull a little more with the feet, roll onto the back, arms and T, rest just a moment. <sighs> and then legs drop off to the left. That, however that's done for you, that's up to you. So they just drop. Head can go right, head can stay neutral. You could do a full eagle leg twist, whatever your body needs. All right, we've got one more little period of intensity with this floor work. And then we're gonna move up to standing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Here we go. Roll up to center. Backs of the thighs. Eyebrows come up. Kick. Balance. Find it. Left foot over right. Pull out. Arms big. Really big arms. I'm going to swivel around. Pull out with those legs. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Find a breath. Yes. Come on, let it burn. What's in there? Stir it up. Get the biggest cosmic spoon that you've got out. Let it burn. Breathe in, breathe out. Feet land and settle. The legs need to flop out front. Let the legs flop out front. But that little friend, the energy friend that's been with you for however long, is it starting to get on board? Breathe in. Oh yeah, find the biggest exhale that you have. Gather it up in there, because you gotta build an exhale. So breathe it in, 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 biggest exhale you have, and bend over those legs. It's like a tractor tire going flat. Inhale, sit up. Roll it to hands and knees. Here we go. All right, we're going to wag that tail. I got to make sure my mic pack is in the place where it needs to be, not where I don't need it to be. Wag the tail side to side. There we go. Because nothing's going to build energy in the body and just really get things to vibrate and quite like fire hydrant. Ah, the collective groan. All right. Find those hands right under the shoulders. If the wrists are painful, find a chair to put the wrists in or a pillow to put the forearms on. Walk the knees a little closer together and then left leg up and out to the side. So here's what happens. Everybody bends their legs, legs, their arms, and they start listing off to one side, trying to figure out how to alleviate the vibration. Try to keep those arms straight, but not locked. Transition to fists if you need to. Transition to forearms if you need to. But let that leg do what legs need to do. Lift it a little more. Oh. Now the top of the right foot presses down into the mat. Don't lock out those elbows. Keep them so that they're supple. Lift it, lift it. Oh, yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Kick that foot straight back. Ah. Oh. Knee to shoulder. Foot straight back. Knee to shoulder. Foot straight back. Knee to shoulder. Oh, yeah. Kick it straight back. Hold there. Turn the toes down so that the pelvis levels. Transition your weight into your left forearm or hand. If you happen to be standing, your hand is in the chair. Right arm reaches up and out. So you're balancing on your left hand and your right knee. For those of you that are more advanced, you want to reach back with that right hand, kick up into that foot and find your half bow posture. Reach and do all that wonderfulness. Let it all shake. Oh my God, I'm shaking like 10 trees in the wind. Yes, breathe in, breathe out. Right hand comes down. Don't put that leg down yet. 
Not quite yet. Turn the toes out. Bring it up by the shoulder. See if you can kiss it. And then put it down. Reach back with the hips or forward with the head and hips high. Whoo. If you're in a chair, if you've transitioned to your feet, simply just have hands on belly and rest. The best part of this is there's another side to do. We get to keep going. <laughs> All right, here we go. We shall not delay the inevitable. All right, hands planted. Knees come a little closer together. Hands are right up under those shoulders, maybe a little wider. Arms on a cushion, hands in a chair, right leg. So you're going to notice the right leg talks so much faster. Think about your left hip right now and what it's having to do. It's having to stabilize. It's having to have a little crunch over there. Lift that right leg a little more. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yep. Now imagine that the cosmos is pressing down on the leg. <laughs> And then they're lifting up. Oh, there we go. So we want the cosmos to help us a little bit. And we want to keep thinking about all the wonderful things in life, like our elbows and our shoulders and keeping things square. One more breath. Oh, it's shaking. Now press that foot back. And then I got to come forward and then pull it forward. Press back. Pull it forward. Press back. Bring it to the shoulder. Press back to the shoulder. Now press it back. Turn those toes down. Level pelvis. Oh, that left hip is so full of vibration right now. Oh, my word. Belly button draws in. Left hand reaches forward. Notice the vibration in the spine, in the hips. Notice what's happening in the head. What is going on in my brain? Breathing in. Breathing out. Reach for that foot back there. Half bow posture if you want to. One more big breath. Hand comes down. Don't put that foot down yet. Toes turn out. Pull up by the shoulder. Try to give it a cosmic kiss. Put it down. Those of you in a downward facing dog mood. Extend up, downward facing dog. Those of you not, transition to toes, hips, and forward fold. So you're either going to go to forward fold, you can use a chair, or transition to downward dog. You're in your dog, pedal yourself out. If you're in a forward fold, pedal those legs out, getting into the backs of the hands. <sighs> Once you feel as though your dog or your forward fold have had enough of you, straighten both legs, give it one full breath. <sighs> Knees bend, walk toes to hands if you're in a dog. Otherwise, everybody starts to transition up to standing. Ah, <sighs> palms open, thumbs out. Ah, <sighs> what has shifted? <sighs> so when there's this meme that I love, and it's this little puppy, and it says, I has a sad. <laughs> like, I has a sad too. <laughs> I'm like, what little kid made that? I has a sad. But it, it really speaks. Lately, I has a sad. I really do. So I have to go to my toolbox. How am I going to raise this vibration? Oh, I have to actively do it. Like, you got to push a button to turn on the TV. Push the button. Shift into your left leg. Let that right knee roll forward. So this is going to be up to you. 
You want to go big, go home. That ankle comes here. We bend. You come down. You plant those hands. You put the fore, the fore, the shin on the backs of those elbows and you balance. You don't want to go there. Hold here. Come here. Go to tree. Go to full tree. Player's choice because we're all, whoa, we're all in different spaces right now. You know how to do the forearm balance? Do it. Yes. Get it. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't? Then you're here. I'm wiggly all over the place today. So I'm going to plug into my calf. Please don't plug the heel into the top of the knee, though. That's not where we want to go. That could be a precious, precious knee joint that doesn't need the pressure. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wherever you are, start to unwind. Release. <sighs> the shifting, the shaking, the wiggling. <sighs> All right. Open those palms. We're ready. Boom. That's ready posture. Yes. Shift wherever you're going to go. Bring that way up in there. Yeah. If not, if you've got creepy yoga pants on like I do, make sure you hold on to your waistband. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Let it wiggle out. There's no judgment here. This is a process of building energy. Ah, the yogis did this so that they could be strong enough to sit in meditation for hour upon hour upon hour without fatigue. Next breath in, fills you up with an exhale. Ah, have that exhale, release out, center in around that body. Ah, nice. Step up to the head of your mat. Make sure the space behind you is clear enough. If you have a chair that you need for balance in front of you, stick that right at the head of the mat so it doesn't push, pull, tug, or toe and end up sliding out of your way. Arms nice and open, really open palms. Find the bottoms of the feet. Press down through the ball of the foot and the heel at the same time so that the belly button draws in slightly and then the head of the body, the head of the body. Hmm. That's an interesting statement. I'm going to have to ponder that. It's kind of like the lead of the body presses up. The next breath draws the thumbs up and overhead. See if you can plug those thumbs in together. Knees bend just a little right leg presses back. Heel stays high. If you've got to come to cactus arms or whoa arms, make sure you do those. Heel of the right leg presses back. The knee on the front leg is right over the ankle or slightly behind. Breathe in. Breathe out. Those palms come to that left thigh. That leg is going to slide up close to the left leg. We're going to slide it in, slide it in, slide it in. Lift if you can for a little perch pose. So I've got my little leg kicked up behind there. Little Betty Boop action going on. Breathe in. Breathe out. That foot is going to slide back again. Find those thumbs together. Reach it up. Let the arms fan out to the sides. Eagle arms. Wrap right arm underneath the left. Eagle it up or hand to hand, forearm to forearm. Eagle it up. And then we're going to make circles. So I've got a mic in the way. So what I'm going to do is hand to hand. We're going to go in circles three times. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now shoot those hands up and out. Hold in that left thigh. Things should start building. <laughs> yes. Inhale, exhale. 
arms slide down. Left arm under right this time. And then we're gonna go the opposite way with those circles. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Let those arms fly up and back. Yes, feel that left quad. That's that vibration building. Reach back through that right heel. And then hands scoop down, the body sweeps forward. Scoop some water, step it forward, reach all the way up. And then let the arms melt down and in. Sometimes, even though I have a yoga practice, I tend to do things just like this every single time, unless I'm in class. So I have a way I do it and I have a way I do it. So we're taking these things and kind of smushing them in the head over and over going, did that raise your vibration? Did that raise your vibration? How about that? Oh, until we get there, breathe in. Hands stretch out, press down to the ball of the foot and the heel, reach up through the crown of the head. Inhale, exhale, find that center first, then arms sweep out and up either to cactus or all the way up. Plug those thumbs in together, inhale, Exhale, knees start to bend just a little bit to give you that momentum to take that left leg and stick it back there. So settle in with that left heel pressing back. Cactus arm if you need to. Plug that front foot into the floor in a way that you can have a little backward press with the friction of that front foot and then a little forward press with that back leg. So you've got a little push me, pull you going on till the, oh, there. So you feel the muscles really activate. Ready for that perch pose? Hands sweep forward to the thigh. Lean in, lean in, lean in. Drag the foot close together and perch it up. If the toe needs to stay on the floor, let the toe stay on the floor. We're really into hamstring here into quad here, balance for those of you that need the balance practice, press those knees together, breathe in on it, yes, and then here we go, foot reaches back, arms, woo, did a big circle there, reach up and back, Sit down into it, find that forward shove of the front foot and the backward shove of the other until you feel that balance show up in the pelvis. And then let those arms reach out. Turn the palms up for just a moment. There's a difference. If I tip the pinky side up, the belly button pulls in just a little and my rib cage pops up. Now level the palms with the floor. See what that does. That kind of pulls the rib points down and in a little, maybe rolls the shoulders forward. See what you like better for a second. All right, here we go with the, yeah. <laughs> Feel that thigh. All right, so left arm under right. I'm gonna do the, the version that doesn't crush the mic. We're gonna go around in circles. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, reach up and back, expand, use that breath, feel that right thigh. Oh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, arms relax out into that wide T position. This time, right arm under left, opposite breath. Here we go, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Expand. Yes. Yay. Hands to thighs. Step forward. Utkatasana. Big bend. And then straighten one leg at a time. Feel those 
thighs, feel those thighs, feel those hips, feel those thighs, feel that vibration and that energy and reach and pull if you want to. Breathe with it if you want to. Three, two, and one. Put on your best show performance. Arms reach up, legs straighten, and the crowd goes wild. And we relax. <sighs> Somebody throws a rose at you, smacks you in the forehead, and you don't even care. <sighs> Notice the breath. Notice the heart rate. Notice what you just don't care about anymore. That's not what I need to worry about anymore. Hands to hips, make some circles. So it's one thing to let the energies fly away. It invigorates, it pleases the soul. Ah, it pulls us from reality for just a moment. So then we're gonna, now that we've expanded, we're gonna pull it all back in. Pause, go the other direction. And a great posture for plugging in. Ah, this triangle posture. Here we go. Two more times around. Stirring the base of that spine, bring it up nice and tall. Feet come a little closer together. Check and make sure either the inside edges or the outside edges are parallel. Plug in the balls of the feet and the heels. I do like to lift my toes a lot because that really helps me feel where the weight is toward the ball of the foot or the heel. Shoulders roll up and back. Hands expand out. Arms reach out and up. We're going to lean a little to the right. So that left hip is gonna reach out. So if I'm leaning, my left hip is gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Now put all the weight back in both feet at the same time. Give yourself a full breath so you have a really nice exhale. <sighs> exhale it really nicely. <sighs> Come up to center on the in breath. <sighs> now off to the opposite side we go. That right hip's going to poke out, find the weight over both feet again. Let a breath gather, let a breath leave. And then gather the breath in for that really nice exhale. <sighs> Breathe it in, lift it up. Nice. So I'll just stay this way. We're going to take those feet, we're going to walk them out wide. We're going to turn the right toes out. We're going to drop the arms. Now this is player's choice. If this is your triangle, beautiful. But if you're going to go full triangle pose, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this shape and then we're going to pull the energy in and keep that energy in the column of the, of the spine. So we've got the arms out in T. You could roll the pinkies up and expand that chest first if you want to. And then Reach back and away from the right toes first, and then reach over the right toes, and then reach back and away, and then reach over. Reach back and away. So we're reaching back, and then we want the momentum to slide forward, keeping this right shoulder over this right thigh, and then rotate those arms. So if this is too much on this knee joint, unlock it just a little bit so that the muscles are going to support the joint. We never, never, never want to lock down so that we're bone on bone. Now, we're here. We're here. We're here. Yes, we're in this. Now pull the energy in. Bring the hands in to the belly. Bring the feet together. They won't move. Imagine that the energy of the feet is coming together. We're in at the belly. Hold, inhale, exhale, arms open one more time. 
open, bend that right knee, hand or elbow in and over. If you want to go one more step, that hand can come all the way down to the floor. You can step back, side plank, or go into that full side split. That's up to you. Lots of breath. Now pull the posture in, pull the top arm in, pull the bottom arm in, slide that body up, straighten that leg, turn the toes in, forward fold. Now spill out, because you're like, well, you promised me that the energy was gonna be pulled in. So we're consciously pulling in. Now, what is unnecessary at this point, even if your hands are in a chair here, spill out. Pretend that somebody just turned on the faucet in the middle of your back. And anything that needs to go just simply leaks out of the crown of the head. One more breath. Knees bend, hands to thighs, assist yourself as you roll up. Beautiful, we're already wide leg. So we expand the arms up, left toes turn out, perpendicular back foot with front foot, lean away from the left toes, lean and lean and lean, and then slide. Make movements as if you're pulling in. So I'm reaching out into the ethos to pull something into myself, reaching out into the ethos, pull it in. This time we lean all the way out and in. we protect this knee area, make sure it's unlocked, and then we rotate to where we need to go. Support, no support, hand on a chair, forearm on a chair. Do this against a wall if you want to. Now pull arms in, pull legs toward each other. We're still leaning. Pull the energy in and in and in, then expand back out. Rotate up, bend that left knee, drop the shoulders, and then make the shape that's gonna help you Yes, expand a little more. And then if you need to go even further, that hand comes all the way down to the floor. We step all the way back into that plank with my best Serena Williams voice. She's an amazing woman, is she not? Breathe in, breathe out. Ooh, if I can get my foot back over there. Start to come back out. Let that body come up. Toes forward, forward fold. Now this one is one more pouring out of the spine. So we take the spine, we shift it, we shift it, we shift it. We hold around it, we hold around it. Then we pile in around that spinal line energy, dump it out the crown of the head. Big breath. Exhale. If you're a chair person, your hands are in the chair right now. If you're a chair person, you are simply going to sit down in your chair. For those of us that are coming down, one knee, the other knee, hips to the side, legs out wide. <sighs> nice. And begin to tip and talk and find those little bits. Anything that's left. So if you need to sit on a cushion for this, sit on a cushion. But roll up a blanket. Start to pause a little longer over each leg and notice what happens to the toes. Are they staying straight up toward the ceiling or are they bending in or rolling away? 
And then slow down even more and pause. What's happening with the back toes? Are they rolling away or rolling in? Lift, opposite. I see my front foot pointing at the ceiling. What's my back one doing? Ooh, it could afford a little more flex back there. Come up toward the ceiling. Lift through the arms. Take that thumb. Wrap the fingers down and over the thumb. Elbows come down. With a ha. Breathe in. Elbows. Breathe in. Elbows. Now, as we squoze out this energy, I prefer the word squoze, maybe squozen. We'll go, we'll go full old English. <laughs> you may want to speed up. You may have some more energy that needs to go, that needs to build right on. Go big. Ah, you may just need to move nice and slow. Ah, we're going to go 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release over. So if you want a chair in front of you to put your arms out into, grab a chair or a pillow. But start to extend the column of the spine from where it's plugged in in the back of the pelvis to the crown of the head and open the sides of the body. If you really feel rounded, come up to hands, extend, and then use the hands like sticky straw, straw feet, sticky frog feet, and pull the heart through the hands and stay a little more upright. Big breath. Slide right hand to right shin or ankle, open up that left arm. There's that triangle posture. Pull the vibration in around the pelvis. And then drop that arm, slide right hand in, left hand slides out, open the heart space, but draw the energy to the pelvis. Use the breath here. Now see the nice thing is tomorrow when the quads are a little sore, we get to go back and think right hand comes down, left hand comes down, roll the spine up. We get to think about the vibration that we built today. Soles of the feet come together. So when you're sitting there, you know, cussing my name, like who in God's name does a warrior one for five minutes? We do. <laughs> so when you feel that soreness, that's just that's just the body working that vibration to just take some of that that low vibrating energy and just pack it up and send it out. Yeah, we gonna buy that? <laughs> I got more Dharma for you. Let the outsides of the legs press down, open the soles of the feet like a book, bend down and in. Feel that hip energy. If it's too much on the knee energy, then Extend the legs away from the body a little. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now anybody that's looking for a shoulder stand, you can roll onto your back and send your heels up toward the ceiling as long as you have no cervical issues. Knees fold up like a book otherwise. We're going to roll onto our backs and do a tiny little lift. If you're going to go into a chair, you're simply going to slide into a chair and put your tush at the front edge of the chair and your shoulder blades at the back. Grab onto the edges of the chair and lift your tush just a little or not. Just sit there. 
Plant the feet maybe even wider than the hips if you're gonna do a bridge posture. Yeah, go wide. Lift the hips just a little. Not enough that you've gotta press the upper back actively into the ground. Just enough to get the hips up and away and then start to swish like a hammock in a breeze with those hips from side to side. Swish and swish. Just pressing from one foot to the other. Unlock the jaw. If you're in a shoulder stand, make sure you're not clenching your teeth. I mean, your jaw is going to be tight in there because your sternum is going to be pressing on the bottom of the jaw. But we don't want to actively clench through the throat and the mouth in order to pull off that shoulder stand. If you want to pop back into plow, you could do that too. Ah. <sighs> Come center, and then roll that spine down, arms out into T, back to where we started. Bring the knees up toward the chest. If you're in a chair, simply gather one leg up or both, and then drop those legs off to the left. Ringing that spinal energy out one more time. And just notice what happens to the state of the mind when we actively move through the body vibrationally. I'm going to affect my own energy system. I'm going to get out of my own head. And as one of my instructors loves to say, get out of your own way. I'm going to get out of my own way and use the tools in my toolbox. Knees come up to center. Maybe lean over the legs if you're in a chair or reach up and grab those shins, nose to knees. Ball yourself up. Slide my chair. If you've got a chair handy, maybe you'll put your legs in a chair at the end. Breathe in. Breathe out. Roll down. Drop to the right. My cat is so good at this. She just <laughs> rolls into this twist that just makes my mind go, oh my word. Find the breath in your twist. Three more breaths here and then either legs go up on the couch or the coffee table or up in a chair or you'll stretch out long on the floor. Just have a moment or two. Next breath gathers in an exhale. Knees come up, wrap yourself up, and exhale out. And then pick the poison, stretch out. You could always do a restorative bridge, put something up under the pelvis. Before we started class, I chose a card. Nana Boluku, she rests to create. I've never even seen this card before. How? <laughs> I love this. Your energy is a precious resource. And there are always ways of being that can enhance it. Amplifying it and replenishing it. I did not choose this card on purpose. I randomly chose it out of the deck. Give yourself sufficient rest. And you shall find the way forward more effortless. Explore the lifestyle that grows your inner resources rather than re requiring constant exertion and exhaustion to accomplish an endless list of eternal pursuits. You need this shift in being now because you are ready to accomplish more. For this to take place, there needs to be less effort 
and more wisdom. Trust and value what can be accomplished through rest. Find the breath and stay with the breath while you rest. And then begin to draw in to the body the energy of a yawn. As if you either just woke up or you're just ready to go to bed. And you breathe in that huge inhale. You release. Oh. Allowing the body to yawn into the moment, releasing anything that is excess, releasing anything that simply needs to move through. For those of you without worries and without cares, start to stretch and move. And then those of you with worries and cares, start to stretch and move. Maybe rolling the head from side to side, pointing the toes. Expansion by choice, using all the tools that we had today in order to dig ourselves free. Take a breath in, sigh it out. Ah, and then join me in that communal sound, inhaling. Ooh. Two more times, breathe it in. Ooh. Third one, breathe it in. Ooh. Namaste, Om Shanti Shanti, peace. 
may tomorrow's sore muscles remind you of the vibration you built today. (laughs) I love you all. Thank you for showing up like you always do. I've got a couple that I need to post on YouTube. (sighs) Ah, I love you guys.